Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, it's been a long time since I actually recorded something, so it's gonna be all kind of weird. I'm using OBS for like the first time after like, I guess like a year. And I installed some random drivers on my um, computer to try to do some neural painting thing, and I couldn't figure out, so like sometimes my driver's wonky. Anyways, long story short, um, I'm gonna be uploading, I guess, again. Uh, things have been a little bit tough for me. Uh, no work is not fun. <laughs> so uh, I've just been uh, slumming around and not being productive when I've had all the time to do so. So um, whatever, things are looking good. So let's get right into it. This video is gonna be about obviously the uh, ThinkPad uh, P1. It's like the, or should I say the Lenovo ThinkPad P1. It's I guess it's like Lenovo mixing the X line or the X1 carbon, I should say, as like a P series, hence, you know, P1, X1, all that stuff. And um, it's like a lightweight mobile workstation. They have done some in the past. I'll talk about that. But um, mostly, um, I guess if you don't want to watch this whole video, I'm, I'm going to talk about mostly about like the heat, uh, I guess like the design and why. I like it, but I'm not sure if it's going to have the throttling issues that the um, MacBook uh, Pro has. But I don't think it will. It might with the heating. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, yeah, if I press that button, it does that. So let's see. Here we have, um, I actually saw the first article I saw. It was on, I guess, that um, my Google Pixel. Whenever you swipe left or whatever, you get like that random Google news stuff and so I saw I saw this I'm right now I'm, I'm right now I'm, uh, uh, I guess I was looking for news for the Nikon the new Nikon mirrorless lens <laughs> tangent time so it, anyways I saw this article by uh, Ars Technica Te Technica I don't know how to say it and I was um, I'm excited that Lenovo is actually going to be doing this um, it's I I don't want to overhype this thing too much. Um, don't go out and buy it. I'm a little bit skeptical about it, but um, yeah, they're gonna they they have the uh, they have a few models out right now. Let's go ahead and which <laughs> I, I don't know which which screen where, where where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, P series workstation family. All right, so we have their sweet desktop. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. There we go. I can make my face smaller, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, all you can read all that good stuff at there. Who cares? We all want a nice ThinkPad. Um, I guess some people got pissed uh, about the keyboard layout, but who cares? But right now, they have um, the P52 and the P71. You know, the 15-inch and 17-inch laptop. Uh, then you have the P52s, which is like a mobile version of the P52. And of course, they're still selling the P51 and even P50. And they're not selling the P7 no more, I guess, which is kind of strange because they did held that one for a long time. So I believe um, the P52 has a coffee-like processor or whatever. And the P71, they're using the whatever the 7th gen is, Cabby Lake. I forget. It, the, Intel's doing it all weird, calling some processors Cabby Lake and then keeping old processors or previous processors and the new computers so yeah it's a bunch of baloney so let's get right back into it um oh, i guess you guys can't really read that so i mean you guys could i'm sure you guys all read this article or read something whoa way huge so yeah um the the only thing is it's interesting because i'm reading it and i'm saying oh man they're gonna be they're gonna have, you know, they're making the P1 or the X1 Carbon as like a, as a, you know, P series. So, you know, I I, I want to go look up at at, at it. Um, let's go ahead and bring up where where is the? Uh, here we go, coming soon. Um, I went to this. I'm like wondering what's it gonna have and all that good stuff. Uh, thinnest, lightest, blah blah blah. Three point starting at 3.76 pounds. Somebody made like a YouTube video saying that that's too heavy for them. Whatever. Okay. Don't even talk. Get out of here. All right. This, you know, it's a, it's a freaking. I don't know. You can't just have like a mini desktop that's like super powerful. Okay. Simple as that. 
Uh, let's see if I could. I don't know if I could make these images bigger. Nope. <laughs> So yeah, immediately when I saw it, you see that right there. Let me, if I point to it with my finger, you can't see my finger. But yeah, it has the rectangular um, power draw or power power source, power port, um, whatever that thing is, power plug. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of strange because recently the X1 carbons, the I think the last two, the X1 five and six. They use use BC, so when I saw that, I was thinking like, man, like what's it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna need more than a hundred watts of power because uh, I believe the USB C it can only take uh, I think either it's ninety five or one hundred five or a hundred is like the max that 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 they can push. So I immediately thought, oh, if, if it's gonna take if this is gonna use that, then that means it's probably gonna push more power. Than the MacBook Pro because I think the MacBook Pro it's like a 87 watt uh, USB-C connector so um, yeah it's gonna it's gonna require more power it's gonna require more power which is good but the only drawback was that with USB-C you had like like one charger to rule them all excuse me about the burp um, like I had I charge I I take my Pixel Book charger everywhere with me when I, when if I'm taking my my you know my laptop because I could just charge my phone with it so but this just a little odd little tangent but yeah it's uh it looks pretty cool so let's let's go ahead and look the 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 biggest thing that I like is that it has a centered keyboard and some some people complain that there's a, some somebody complained about how it doesn't have a number pad and it's like well, you don't need a number pad if you're doing like work okay you don't need that and it, and plus it wouldn't even fit it, if you if you haven't noticed the 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 X1 carbons they just recently got thinner, so this one right here if we if we see it it looks extremely thin. I don't think you can even fit a touchpad there unless or a number pad. Did I say touchpad the whole time? A number pad there because it would mess up, you know, it would mess up all that stuff. And some people are complaining. There's other other complaints about the FN and control key. Okay, I don't care about the whole layout. I'm I went when um, I know you could do the bio switch where you change the FN, you know, stuff. But with me, since I really only use ThinkPads, I didn't have an issue with FN being all the way to the left and Control being a little bit to the right. It doesn't mess me up because that's the only laptops I use. So, so I don't. So that argument gets thrown out. And plus, even then, w when I started using like the, uh, I think I had to use like a Dell E7440 for a little bit. Um, the control FN thing didn't really bother me. I, I get used to keyboard layouts all the time. And uh, let's, yeah, it's, uh, somebody said it, it's, that's how the thermals look like. <laughs> and um, as we can see, it's, it's, uh, if I blow up these photos, it doesn't make any difference. But uh, yeah, here we go right here. Maybe I should move my, there we go. So if we can see, you have, you know, two USB ports. Or regular USB ports and then USB C or Thunderbolts, Thunder ports, whatever. And then you have an HDMI out, which I thought was kind of interesting. And then you have your uh, whatever that thing is called, your headset. And then a standard SD card slot. And it looks like over here we have like some sort of uh, what is that? Like a smart card stuff. So like you can like lock your computer and nobody can steal it. And on the bottom, oh, th those those look to be like the speakers. Um, I think it's uh, you know, just normal ports. Uh, most likely, it doesn't have a. Let me see, I don't. I don't know. They don't have the photo of the bottom of it. But um, most likely, you're going to be using the uh, USB. Well, I guess you can use the regular USB B or A or whatever it's called port uh, dock, which which I kind of don't like, or you could use the other, that you could use the USB-C one, but the, but it kind of throws out the whole purpose of having a dock because the the main reasons why I like a dock, you know, uh, something whoops, I'm not supposed to do that, something like uh, something like this is that you just put, you know, you you have your power port, oh shoot, where is the power port on this thing? You know, you have your power port back there. And then you just put your computer on there, and 
and uh, and you power it in it, and then when you have to go, you have to go. But, but um, you know, you just press the. Oh yeah, I guess I should show you guys. You press this button, you're ready to go. So say if the cops are invading you, you press that thing, chuck your your laptop out of the apartment building or whatever the hell you're at, and hopefully it falls into the trash can, and you're good to go. So, <laughs> but um. Because because it's gonna be, be using the little convenience thing. It's just like a this is like a little a little thing that I guess kind of sucks, but it's good. But it doesn't. I don't think it it does have on the. No, nah, it's too thin, and it and it goes against what what the X one carbons are. <laughs> they never had those. And uh, let's go ahead and read down. Um, okay, so the graphics card now. The graphics, I think, is interesting because if we if we go back to the um, you know the, the P series right now, you you have it's essentially there's I guess it's gonna well they have like five here, but there's really like always been like the two main ones, which is the P uh, fifty or fifty two I guess and the P seventy. Well, we're just we're just saying the fifteen inch workstation, seventeen inch workstation. Later on, um, I th let's I guess let's go back a bit. Lenovo was like, let's make an Ultrabook version of it, because I don't know why somebody, they wanted to make one so it could be lighter and all that stuff, and it will, as dumb as it sounds, there's people who like a big bulky laptop, but then there's people who want something smaller that's easier to travel with. It's just how it is. Um, I mean, you make we, we make some gaming computers out of those, those small HTPC, you know, cases. It's really cool, so... That's why that there is this push for mobile workstations, okay? Even though you could, you know, a laptop is a mobile, you know, device. You got to make it thinner because uh, Intel is, I think they, I don't know how late the funding was, but, you know, they fund, pe fund manufacturers for research to make thinner laptops. So, you know, it's like free money. Might as well make one, you know, if Intel's paying for it. So let me see if I can find. Oh, here we go. The P52S mobile workstation. This is thinner than the uh, regular P52, uh, but um, this one I thought was interesting because it has. Let me see if I can zoom in right there. If I can press the right buttons right there, it has. Well, not that, but right that thing right next to it. That's USB-C. So. Uh, it's it is actually powered by let's go what tech specs at um is it wait does it say here oh no it didn't say here i gotta open up that pdf where's that thing at here we go so if we look at look at this right here uh where's that this one's at 4.3 pounds the p1 is 3.8 i oh my gosh <laughs> i cannot do these videos i swear to god terrible salesman I am so the power supply for this machine is 65 watts and it's USB-C um, and I'm, I'm thinking like oh man this thing's actually gonna be more powerful than like you know like you would think P52 would be super strong but it's, it's only a 65 watt power supply so it I mean the the I guess what what are we at 15 watt uh, CPUs now or 25 watt CPU so to me it, it's still it's uh, I'm still in 2013 tech or you know that that's that's where my, my mind is at it's just amazing how far we came and if you guys haven't noticed it's like I'm recording without having my fan on because it makes a lot of noise and we have a we have our air conditioner is down and the swamp cooler is on, so I'm just getting I'm getting all moistury from from this stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have a decline in content equality here, but not not that my face is like the the main uh you know what do you guys need to see. But oh yeah, let me go let me go right back into it. So with the ports here, somebody said that oh yeah it's so great. I'm gonna worry about my hands getting hot. Okay. It's like, who cares if your hands get hot? You know, this thing, the, the, the sad thing about it is that is that they wanted to do the drop hinges, not like the standard where, where the hinges on top of, of the laptop and then it folds back. This one's where it folds, you know, 
behind the laptop. So it's going to have it's it the fan the fans are going to be pushing off off the screen and oh my gosh I hate I hate this design. Maybe if they made the the gap a lot bigger, but then it look kind of weird. Or if they had some sort of pass through thing. Um, my my Chromebook Pixel um no no yeah my original Chromebook the Pixel the 2013 um it has something like that and man after a while it gets way too hot so all that heat if you're using it highly doubt this is gonna happen but if you're using it on, on an airplane trip and you're or, or you know on a bus you're gonna have that heat right there in in your knees. So that's the only thing that's gonna suck. It's it's gonna it's it's only gonna ex it's exhaust either up or down. So you're gonna feel it. I it might not exhaust down, and I I wish it would exhaust left or right, but I guess because they want to make that that you know that little lip right there to make it nice and sleek. They couldn't push the ports forward, and that's probably also another thing is that the battery's probably there. So. Ugh. I think it's like a 95 watt battery and to differentiate itself from the other ThinkPad since it's similar akin to the X1 Carbon it's it's gonna have it's not gonna have a simple swappable battery you're gonna have to, we don't see the bottom of it, of it so you might it I don't know I don't know if it's gonna be easy to work on because if it, it's gonna have like those where you gotta take out the um, the rubber feet that's gonna suck, cause, cause you know, eventually the rubber feet. I mean, it doesn't not not like you're gonna have to replace batteries all the time, but you know, it's it's one of those kind of things where like I'd rather just have a screw there to open it than at to you know have something removed, cause then it it might look all ugly. Whatever, I'm getting a little little weird rant here. So okay, so that's P52. Whatever, who care about you? The W550 was the starting of the decline. <laughs> But the thing is, is that, um, oh, I guess I should reiterate, um, the new P, the new P1, it's going to have, you could, you could have a choice between two, two different graphics cards, which is kind of strange because usually you're, you're only offered one and, um, yeah, the W550S, you only had a, uh, it, I don't even think this, this video cards like that, that, uh, I guess not that standard, but it was like a new video card. With only two gigs of RAM f for it, but this one you're gonna be able to go. I, I'm pretty sure that the the P1000 is gonna be two gigabytes. It's gonna be weird if it's only one. It might be three, but at least with this you can have four gigs of you know gaming computing power or rendering power, I should say. And then with memory, it's gonna be able to be configured from uh. Oh, what the hell? Thirty? What? What, what the hell? Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing it, it says two different things. Yeah, you could do 64 gigs max, or you could do uh, 32 gigabytes if you want to do ECC. Now, I'm pretty sure the reason why it's like that is because perhaps there is no uh, 32 gigabyte sticks of ECC RAM at the moment. Um, right now, we some people were complaining that you can't do 128 gigs of RAM on it. I know there's some people that actually I don't know if they actually need that much, but hey, if you could do it, it's, you know, amazing. Why not? Okay, do it anyways. It's fun to do. Who, who And plus, it's bragging rights. Um, 64 gigabytes. I, I'm pretty sure... It, it, so, let me go back. The, the P72, it has four slots, and it could do 128. This one only has two slots, so it's going to do 64. What I find interesting is that... Lenovo actually is letting uh, people. It, it, this is like a I don't know. It's, it's like a strange thing. The the RAM's not soldiered on this, which is surprising to me. I guess because it's a workstation. I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll, if they are <laughs> if there are 64 gigabyte modules in the future, I have a feeling this might work. I mean, mm, it, it 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 happened before with the. Uh, with the T the T sixty I was gonna say T sixty T sixty one, um, when four gigabyte modules were produced, because I think it said the max was four gigs, but then it was eight gigs, but that that's a long time ago. So, 
And then, so we have two displays. Okay, let's get into this. Storage, four terabytes, whatever. I'm, I'm probably guessing there, there might be... I think you could do RAID. So, somewhere it said it could do RAID. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's two uh, M dot or NVMe slots. Okay. Now the display. Kind of lame that the that that there's a uh, it's not saying anything right here but the 15 the full HD <laughs> display model um, I believe it's only 300 nits and then the 4k model is I think it's 400 I don't think it's 500 so um, and and another thing is that I don't there really doesn't need to be touch at all so I'm gonna presume that the 4K panel is going to be glossy, which is sad for some of those people who love matte displays. Um, and and sometimes, but but see nowadays they're starting to make a glossy display and put like a matte finish on it, so it just ruins. To, um, to me, it feels like it ruins everything. Um, but getting back to it, suppose it's going to have like a 100% uh, Adobe color gamut or something, which brings me to. Um, notebook checks uh, website right here best no notebook displays as of July 2018 now you have the top three you have a Lenovo ThinkPad P71 so maybe the P72 might be better an Apple iPad Pro the 13 inch model even though it says 12.9 and then the ThinkPad P51 now I don't know if that looks like they didn't review the uh, P52. There's no P52 here, and there's also no P52. At, it was P51s, but no no P52s. So I guess they haven't reviewed them yet. I don't know if this panel is going to be that great, the 4K or the Full HD. Um, if we go all the way down here. Um, the the MacBook Pro that's the 2016 model, so they haven't reviewed the 2018 MacBook Pro model yet. Who knows? Who knows? Is it really going to beat the Apple MacBook Pro? And now I gotta think about it. Is this thing gonna throttle? I have a feeling it will. There's no way that this thing, with the heating, the the cooling that it has, is not gonna throttle. There's no way. It has to throttle. And it makes me makes me wonder um, if this thing is actually better than buying a MacBook Pro, which is which is uh, something to really think about. I think I think this model starts at uh, nineteen thousand, and the MacBook Pro. Uh, let's see, the base i seven mid two thousand eighteen. Whoa, God, so much things to say. If we go back all the way down, okay, so it's <laughs> okay, so it's cheaper than a MacBook Pro <laughs> at twenty four hundred dollars. Jesus Christ, is this the base model? Oh my gosh, whatever. Um, yeah, so de definitely this it, it's gonna be cheaper to get, but but as far as maxing it out, I'm pretty sure you'll get to like four thousand, five thousand dollar category. Um. The, the only thing is that, let me see, oh yeah, here we go. So this is, what is, the P52, it says right there up on top of the screen. So I'm presuming that the P1 is going to be similar to the P52. But it the, P, the P52's max processor, let me get that thing out of there. Max processor is a, what the hell? It doesn't even have, Z, oh no. Does have Xeon? Never mind. A 2.6 i7 or a 2.7 gigahertz a Xeon. And the i7, there's no i9. What the hell? This is really weird how they do how they, how but how they have it configured. I thought they had i9 on these things. Okay. Um. Maybe maybe Lenovo is not making i9s for the 15 inch. This is probably all marketing. You know, they got they got to make it best processor. It's only going to go on a certain one. Ugh. Whatever. You can't just have one simple thing. So, I don't know. It the the thing is against the uh, the MacBook Pro, the best one, I should say, the most bestest one. It's gonna have a. Uh, is this it right here? No. Is this it? Let's go back. Let's go down. Okay. 
the processor speed for this one is at 2.9. Yes, it throttles, but still, there's going to be fanboys that are going to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And on top of that, it's going to, it's, it's already going to have 12 megabytes of, of level 3 cache, catch, whatever. So, so, so looking at, at, at this, the Xeon, it already has 12 megabytes. So it's going to be a really tough, you know, it, it's really hard to say, is the Xeon going to be better? And then when you get the Xeon, I think you have, you get stuck with the 32 gigabytes. I don't know if you could do, I don't know if the Xeons could, could take the, uh, Oh no, they can. They they could use the regular non ECC. So I guess you you could kind of configure it with more RAM, but it might not equal. I don't know. It it depends if it throttles or not. And uh, P51s. Oh yeah, I guess uh, I guess this is this is discontinued, so we don't have to worry about that. We actually. Oh, wait, now I gotta look up. I gotta look this thing up. P51s. Where's the side of it? So the P51s, I guess Lenovo did this. They had to do it, but it has the the standard, you know, rectangle. You can't see my hands. The standard rectangular charger. The P52s went to USB-C. So I'm pretty sure they purposely gimped the P52s. Really strange because it's not. It's a little bit thinner but less powerful. Ugh, that must be so frustrating when you want to buy the best system and then you get it and it's less powerful than the one that you had previously really weird Len Lenovo I think they did they must have did this purposely so you could buy the p1 and um okay so let's go ahead and get to it I got a few oh man I thought I had more articles but I guess I only had the verge is gonna be the one weird transition that I'm just gonna shit on oh my god the verge with their Apple fanboys Lenovo made a super thin laptop for people who travel for work. It's like the dumbest thing I've heard. I mean, let's go full screen on this. How can you say something so retarded? If you're getting a laptop for work, you're going to travel with it all the time. God, I just don't. I just don't get how dumb some of these people can be. <sighs> whatever. Okay, whatever. Let's Let's go ahead and read into it. Um, actually, I don't even want to read into it. It's less than an inch. It's almost as light as a MacBook Air. Wait, what? It's oh, the specs in different class. What? What the fuck? Oh yeah. Okay. Another thing I forgot to read and or talk about. And I'm not going to edit. Is that the X1 Carbon was meant to go up against? It, it was a, a successor of the X301 which went up against the MacBook Air. So the X1 Carbon wasn't technically a MacBook Pro competitor, maybe the 13 inch, but it never had dedicated graphics, which was really weird. And then Lenovo had the, the T, T, T440, and technically it was too big. It, 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 that was weird. So like it ended up being about the size of a, of a 15 inch MacBook Pro so it just it's just now the p1 is out and i'm not sure is it really up to go up against the, the the macbook pro 15 inch i mean i think it is it's just strange that this whole thing is but let, let's go ahead and read these comments it's they say it's a more ultra book no it's not um but some some people said some dumb things here. Oh yeah, here we go. Marv Marv eighty nine. Two thousand dollars for a laptop? Okay. Alright, two thousand dollars. Let's right now Apple is you know, they're technically the standard for design, okay? For the design industry. You get you know, if you have a MacBook Pro, you're like, oh, yeah, you're an artist. Oh, it's just like a dumb, dumb thing to be. It's like, it's like oh, you know, if you want to, it's like taking a car to, or, or a race or a bike to the racetrack. It needs to be a Ducati or a Ninja or, you know, a Hayabusa. One of those three. Or you're not considered, you know, relevant. So 
it's it's just it's funny how some people are like, oh yeah, why would someone pay that much money when when they were like, oh yeah, the MacBook Pro is cool. It's just so dumb. So yes, all these guys, all these guys are all all correct. Oh, here we go. Company I work for buys 15-inch MacBook Pros for every employee. It's pretty nice. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just a, so dumb to to be to to even think about. Um, and then I don't know what he's talking about here. Oh my gosh. Then buy a Carbon X. Oh my gosh. Every no. Oh. <laughs> Again, because the stupid, the stupid um, title, clickbait title of this, everyone I know who, tra who travels for work wants a 13 inch or lower to save on space and weight. <sighs> In the battery life, 13 hours. Okay, so I might leave about seven hours of real world use. CAD might drop to five ish hours, which is, yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess um, it depends what what it would be. I I mean, thirteen hours is still pretty a lot. Do I want this thing? Oh no, I I I have no reason to buy this thing. Um, what the hell? Uh, okay, I guess these comments suck. Oh no, I think it was Ars Technica that had the better comments. And oh yeah, here we go. They're talking about how hot it's going to be. Oh yeah, that, this is where I got the joke about the the wallpaper. Okay, I stole a joke, all right. God, don't kill me, guys. Um Oh yeah, love to see Apple match RAM. They won't ever, okay? They won't ever. Un unless no, it they won't ever happen. So, um Yeah, it's it's going to and another thing that 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 was surprised is that there's like a Windows 10 for workstations, what the fuck is that about? Is, is that is that like Windows 10 without like the annoying ass updates? Yes, then I'm into that. And um, <clears throat> added some real keyboard and I might just buy three. Who knows? It might be compatible with. Well, actually, we're, that's that's uh, dangerous territory I'm, I'm treading right there. I highly doubt. I think the X1 Carbons they all had a different keyboard. Than the than the regular ThinkPads, so it, even then, it, it wouldn't even be compatible if if you want to try to buy the other one. Um. Okay, so I guess uh, maybe I should have recorded this video when I when I uh, saw the article because there was some comments on there that I had to talk about, but um, I couldn't find certain certain dumb things like my pop filter, which. Oh no, I mean I have my pop filter but I don't have the actual uh thing about Bob that the the holder for it. So whatever. And I guess that's all I have to say about the uh ThinkPad um P1. <laughs> Funny enough is that Lenovo, oh my god. <sighs> they there was a a phone that they had called the P1. And this is Classic Lenovo confusing everybody, calling everything that they have as a tablet a yoga. And so people are like, I want to buy a yoga. And it's like, okay, is this a ThinkPad? It's like, no, it's a fucking idea pad. It says idea pad on there. It's not, it's not a ThinkPad. Oh, my God. So, again, I even though the phone isn't really going to make, make a, much of a difference. But, um, yeah, so... I guess I should end this video right here because it's getting really weird, getting really weird uh, tangent. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess I'm back. I'm gonna be doing some. I'm gonna be trying to do some computer repair again to get right back into it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around and uh, take care.